It's quite exciting to see now live pictures of uh, the aircraft, the 737, carrying the Dutch and Duchess of Cambridge from Alice Springs now, touching down here in Adelaide. The door's about to open. And uh, as you say, waiting to see what Kate will be wearing. <laughs> Too bad about William, but look, we've got an absolutely <laughs> perfect day. The forecast for Adelaide today is fine, sunny and 22. So you couldn't ask for better weather for a royal visit. I mean, there's a little bit of walking for them. And some of the touches that have gone into this tour have really impressed me that when they uh, leave Edinburgh and they go into Elizabeth, they actually will be driving in a, they'll be driven in a Holden car and as we know about the demise of Holden in years to come this is a really important vi uh, visit for the morale of the people of the northern suburbs to feel you know connected to the royal family and to be acknowledged as well. Doors are open now they've switched on their mobile phones and their SMS's uh, are going crazy I have no doubt. Do you think they'll be doing a selfie? As, as they are? <laughs> Apparently they're a bit into doing selfies. I reckon they will once they're down in Adelaide at the Northern Sound System but that's interesting doors are open and uh, so the gates or well, the steps rather aren't yet up there so hopefully they'll be in place before the do door opens anymore. And they will be uh, met by the Governor of South Australia, uh, His Excellency Rear Rear Admiral Kevin Scarce and Mrs Liz Scarce, and also John Rao, who's the Acting Premier of South Australia, and also the Air Commodore Noel Derwitt of the Commander Aerospace Operational Support um, group. They will be greeting the Royals as they step down here at Edinburgh Air Force Base. A hive of activity now. Everyone's yeah, rushing right. forward with the stairs. And, uh, They've been um, given the thumbs up. And on, on board, there's a whole support group. There's uh, you know, their, their aides, there's the, oh, um, there's the hairdresser, the there's the red carpet coming down now. Just making sure they're probably inside, just checking that Kate's hair's right, that the now, dress is sitting perfectly. We should say that this is Will's first visit to Adelaide because when Charles and Diana were here in 1983, it was only Charles and Diana because uh, William wasn't, he, he stayed back into state, didn't he? They um, had, they set up base at a little um, homestead uh, outside Albury and that's where uh, Will was with, with his nanny. This time round uh, Prince George is in Canberra with his nanny. So um, they've tried to reduce the, the travelling for the baby because, you know, it's, as you uh, would realise with an eight month old child it is difficult Absolutely. upsetting their routine. So they've tried to keep the routine in place as much as possible during this visit. Last night was only one of two nights that Will and Kate didn't spend with Prince George. They've tried to make sure that every night they're back with him to tuck, to tuck him up into bed. Back to Will McDonald now, down there on the tarmac. Will, the doors are open. Yes, uh, there certainly is, uh, Brenton and Jane. Uh, and here we are, you can see the, uh, the dignitaries just walking up towards the red carpet there and the steps to greet the royal couple, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, um, as they're about to step off the plane. We've got, uh, we've got the Rear Admiral Kevin Scarce, the Governor of South Australia there, along with uh, John Rao, the Acting Premier, um, with, uh, with the Premier Jay Weatherall, who's currently overseas on holiday. So um, a big honour for these uh, two gentlemen who get to meet the royal couple, who, of course, obviously extremely popular here in, uh, in Australia, and that will be no different here in South Australia in the northern suburbs today. Um, obviously, yeah, William, Prince William there, uh, uh, following the footsteps of his uh, grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, who's been to, been to the northern suburbs twice now. So um, no doubt he'll be looking forward to visiting uh, Elizabeth and, uh, and seeing what everyone's got to offer. Um, as I said before, it's uh, an absolutely picture-perfect day they're going to step off, uh, off into here at the, uh, in the northern suburbs. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, we've got the motorcade just waiting over there, so um, any moment we're, uh, we'll find out, as Jane was talking about before, we'll find out exactly what the <laughs> Duchess of Cambridge is going to be wearing. <laughs> I'm sure that's one of the things we're all waiting to see. Um, yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, the Honourable John Rowley, as you say, Acting Premier of South Australia, the Premier not with us today, missing out, unfortunately, for him, but I, I know away at the moment, wanting to be here. Air Commodore Noel Derwitt there also, Commander Aerospace Operational Support Group and Senior Australian Defence Force Officer for the Edinburgh Precinct, Mrs Pauline uh, coit there as well. So joining them on the red carpet with Rear Admiral Kevin Scarce and Mrs Liz Scarce, what a wonderful opportunity. Oh, I think it's, it, it's very, very exciting. And uh, from here, they will be transported into the centre of Elizabeth, where they'll go to the Northern Sound System, meet the young people there. And uh, everyone's waiting to, to see them, to smile. They, they're such a, a, a handsome couple out talking to everyone, so um, friendly. And uh, it'll be fantastic to see them uh, talking to the locals of, of Adelaide. So, Jane, are these scenes reminiscent of when Charles and Diana came? Yes, yes. It's, so they um, land at Edinburgh as well, Yes, you know? I mean, because it's probably 
the most secure place to sure. land an aircraft here in South Australia. So we, we, they can control it very much. They can control the airspace, control the tarmac there. So it's, it's a re it's, security is very, very important in these tours. And um, with a lot of the vision that we've seen, you probably wouldn't have even been aware of the security unless you were looking for it. But it was there. The, the, the guys in the dark suit, the, the police and people on top of buildings with binoculars, just making sure that everything is safe. They sweep through. They, they check the bins. They check the gutters. They make sure that everything is perfectly safe for the royal couple before they arrive. But a very short stop over this time, unlike Charles and Diana. Uh, only two hours this occasion. Last time when Charles and Diana here, they stayed here, didn't they? They did. They stayed at Government House uh, because wow. one of the roles of Government House and the Governor is to entertain and look after royalty when they visit. And uh, Oh, here we go. Here we go. We don't want to miss this moment. Oh, you're right! Oh, she's in pink! You're, you must have known, <laughs> no, Jane. I didn't know. You must have known. I didn't know. It's just that we haven't seen a lot of pink. I would have perhaps thought a brighter pink, but that's a lovely pastel pink with a lovely V, v neckline, a three quarter sleeve. Well, maybe she, maybe she didn't because she thought there with Will wearing that bright pink tie it might clash. There they are meeting the Governor and his wife, the Attorney General, the Acting Premier. And. Uh, she looks absolutely radiant she after does. their um, overnight stay at Uluru. Not wearing a hat though. She hasn't worn a lot of hats. No. There's only been a couple of, there was a hat on Sunday when they went to the church service, but uh, look at that beautiful glowing mane of hair. She doesn't need a hat. I mean, that's, you can't top hair like that. That's one of her beautiful features, I think. A lovely, um, looks like a two-piece outfit with a, a flared skirt. I love the little clutch bags. You know, there's a whole website dedicated to what Kate wore. It's called What Kate Wore. And this <laughs> will be uploaded as soon as she's out in the public arena. Photographs will be taken and this frock will be online on What Kate Wore and then girls will be starting to find out who made it, who's the designer and how can they do a copycat at is much, that so? Yeah, it's a real cult thing. It's it's an ongoing fashion parade, isn't it? A progressive fashion parade. Every day, something different. Well, every hour, almost yeah, something you're different. Right. She had two or three changes yesterday and, and changing with the occasion that she's. Um, you know, at or the activities are going on. So um, she's tried to incorporate some um, Australian designers. Um, on the weekend, she wore a frock by a designer called Zimmerman, and there's a Zimmerman store in Adelaide in East End Rundle Street. And I actually buzzed them on uh, <laughs> Tuesday to find out how the sales were going. Well, the Zimmerman dress isn't available till June. It's $495 and it's already sold out. So people are putting, putting their orders in. So she, it's called the Kate effect. Um, she has this uh, effect on fashion. And I think she's bought, um, I think she's more stylish than Diana. Diana at times could have looked a little frumpy with what she wore. Um, Kate never looks frumpy. She always looks a total picture of elegance. Stunning. And a curtsy there from Mrs. Pauline Koitka. Uh, also joining them, the Air Commodore Noel Derwood, uh, Commander Aerospace Operational Support Group and Senior Australian Defence Force Officer of the Edinburgh Precinct. So welcome them there to the Air Base. And uh, Rear Admiral Kevin Scarce there now talking to Will, making a move on the red carpet, closely behind John Rowe and uh, Kevin's wife there, Mrs Liz Scarce. Also looks beautiful today. It's all about keeping this moving because they have a very tight schedule to keep and um, they know that they will want to spend time talking to uh, the crowd at Elizabeth. So they'll be having this conversation here but all the time as you will see they're kind of being led forward towards the car so that they can make that it's about a five minute drive to uh, their next stop which is the northern south system where i know that they're going to get a, a rousing uh, reception a lot of applause lots of flag waving maybe even some posies presented and it's likely that in the posies today there will be red roses because the red rose is the symbol of St George's Day. Oh, of course, which is today. A beautiful, uh, beautiful day for it to be happening here in Adelaide. I wonder what they're talking about too. So now into the, uh, the entourage. And as you say, a five minute drive. Those cars. In the, in the Holden? In the Holden, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. There's so they would be based here. They'd be based, uh, I'm sure, from Edinburgh and uh, a five minute journey to where they'll head towards the northern sound system, Jane. And uh, quite different from the, the regal music that they would normally hear. We're going to hear a lot of hip hop and uh, they're going <laughs> to see some skateboarding, see some street art as well. And of course, the, 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 imagine the noise from the crowd when they uh, arrive and the doors open. I think the crowd's going to let out a huge cheer. Well, this is absolutely incredible. The Royals have touched down here in Adelaide, South Australia. The first time since uh, Charles and Diana, of course, uh, uh, here in Adelaide. And we'll come back after the break with more of the Dutch and Duchess of Cambridge here in Adelaide, South Australia. Back with you soon.